hello there and welcome to my channel thank you so much for tuning in and in this video i'm basically showing you what i did over the weekend um it's not really a tutorial but it's just what i've done how i flat ironed my hair you know all my hair videos are basically showing you what i'm doing at the moment what i've done and you know what what's happening with my hair and hopefully you know this can help you on your on your journey and whatever you're doing i hope i can shed some light and if you have any suggestions do let me know you know i'm learning as as well as you are learning it's, it's just a learning curve really so yeah i did african threading as a way to stretch out my hair i find that this is the best way to do it for me so far i not really used to blow drying because i find that it, it's, it just you know pulls my hair and you know the longer your hair gets the more tangles it gets so i find this is the the best way so far but as i as i learn i'll, I'll probably try that and it'll probably work out but <laughs> this is what i've done and i did small sections so that i can get it as straight as possible and that's what it looks like when i undo them and as you can see there's a bit of um there's a bit of some knots in there but um that's just the beauty of 4C hair <laughs> you know um, yeah so I'm gonna start detangling that uh, start with finger detangling and then I'll move on to the wide tooth comb starting with the ends of course and then moving on and I'm using raw unrefined shea butter um, as my heat protectant I did some research on this and I found some natural sisters who actually all agreed that this is the best way to actually this is the best um, heat protectant for our type of hair 4c hair or type 4 type 4 hair 4a 4b and it made my hair so soft as I'm speaking um, you know this is like day five since I've straightened my hair and I have not applied anything to my hair and it's still so soft so you know this is definitely a good way to protect your hair so give it a try do your research hopefully it'll work for you um, you're probably wondering why I'm not um, doing the chase method but um, as as well as blow drying I find that that would really pull my hair if I did the chase method and the comb just gets stuck in the middle I've tried that before and um, the comb just got stuck in the middle after like you know after like two or three inches <laughs> so you know I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna try that it's just a, it's a waste of time so far it's a waste of time maybe in the future it'll, it'll get better so I try and just go over the hair like once but obviously with this method you're not gonna start right, right where you left off especially since there's so much hair to do <laughs> so but um yeah try and go to, I try and go over it just once and there we go they are on full power I don't know if I've mentioned that um, they are 200 degrees Celsius and the melting point for shea butter is actually 110 degrees um, as far as the boiling point we don't really know how much that is there isn't much information on that but from what the other natural sisters said they said that this is really good a good heat protectant so I'm pretty sure it's safe but do your research if you're gonna try this and I'm trimming the ends um, I try and do this at least once every two months and it just feels so nice when you've trimmed off your ends you know the comb just runs straight through <laughs> so that's that done again if you guys have any suggestions please do let me know I am still learning and I'd love to hear what you do when you straighten your hair especially if you're a 4c uh, so six hours later guys and I'm very tired <laughs> um, I won't be doing I won't be doing this again in a while probably I'll, I'll straighten my hair after like four or five months but it won't be anytime soon so 
this is the last 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 braid and I've already detangled I'm applying my sheer butter I find that the front sections of my hair um, are easier to detangle maybe because we put more focus on the on the front sections of our hair I don't know but this was not difficult to detangle at all as you can see the comb is just running straight through unlike the other section it was a bit tricky so one thing I've learned with this type of hair you have to be very patient and uh, it's, it's good it's teaching me to be very patient again I just go through it once just to be safe and yeah comb it through yeah, it's a bit tangled but I'm sure if I did the chase method it will be less tangled but then again the chase method doesn't do well with um, my type of hair and I'm using a really really th um, thin um, teeth comb if that makes sense thin teeth comb yeah to get through the tangles and to make it as straight as possible so the secret to this is doing this straight after straightening it or flat ironing it because the hair is still is still you're able to manipulate it okay and yeah trim that and that's the last section yeah and I, I did my hair like that to get it out of my face so I'm gonna do the last bit it's already detangled <laughs> that's what it looks like it's very shiny very soft um, you know shea butter is quite oily so that's the only bad point I can I can probably you know give with using shea butter it's, it's very very oily so but then you know our hair sort of absorbs all that oil which in the end really it's, it's worth it so let's see what it looks like so it has a bit of some waves to it which is cool I wasn't expecting it to be you know wavy but then you know this is like a few hours later so <laughs> I guess um, it will make it a bit wavy <laughs> it just feels so different like being able to run my fingers through the hair you know but I must say, you know, I'm already getting bored with straight hair because this was like on Saturday, Sunday when I did this and today is Thursday. And yeah, I'm getting bored. But that's the results. It's a bit wavy. I'm trying to figure out what hairstyle to do. And, you know, I have a really prominent V shape. As you can see, it's, it's a very, very prominent V shape. So I'll probably get it, you know, trimmed professionally. And probably trim off three or two inches off. Three or four inches off. So yeah, guys, this is the hairstyle I decided to do. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know how you do your hair. And thank you so much. God bless. Bye.